Chapter 4 Radio Frequency Signal and Antenna Concepts I will go through from radiation chart until antenna polarization. Radiation chart also known as the radiation patterns. Antenna manufacturer create as infant elevation chart to assist potential buyer with their purchasing decision. This is an example of azimuth chart and this is an example of elevation chart for omnidirectional antenna. Elevation chart equal to E plane inside view where E plane, the plane that is parallel with the antenna A element. Azimuth chart equal to H plane in top down view where H plane, the plane that is perpendicular to the antenna A element. Beam width is the measurement of how broad or narrow that focus of an antenna. Measured both horizontally and vertically. The unit of measurement is degrees. The vertical beam width is perpendicular to the ground and the horizontal beam width is parallel to the ground. Look carefully. Horizontal beam width is azimuth, and vertical beam width is elevation. Antenna gain and loss. This is an example of antenna loss and this is an example for antenna gain. Before antenna, wireless access point 1, try to transmit RF signal to wireless access point 2. You can see that only 50% useful RF signal reaching wireless access point 2. 50% wasted RF signal missing during the transmission. And after using passive gain antenna at wireless access point 1, you can see the different. 96% useful RF signal reaching wireless access point 2. Only 4% wasted at RF signal missing during the transmission. There are three main types of antenna. The first one is omnidirectional antenna. Omnidirectional antenna transmit and receive signals from all directions or 360 degrees. Look at the horizontal beam width. 360 degrees and vertical beam width is between 7 and 80 degrees. Example of omnidirectional antenna are outdoor omni antenna and rubber duck antenna. It's easy to see rubber duck antenna on wireless device. Especially wireless access point. Next. Semi-directional antenna. This type of antenna will radiate and receive RF signal in a roughly 180 degree beam width. And this type of antenna is suitable to use for short to medium distance. Example types of semi-directional antenna are, Yagi, Panel, and Patch. And the last one, High Directional Antenna. This type of antenna will focus their radio waves in a very specific single direction. For horizontal beam width. The RF signal emanating between 4 and 25 degrees while for vertical beam width is usually between 4 and 21 degrees. This type of antenna is the most focused. Narrow beam width of any of the antenna types. It is used for point-to-point -point communications, typically to provide network bridging between two buildings. Also suitable for long distance communication. There are two popular types of highly directional antennas which are parabolic dish antenna and grid antenna. Other antenna considerations. First, the default antenna is not adequate for transmitting the desired signals to the destination. Second, the default antenna is unable to receive the desired signals. Third, the antenna is causing the wireless device to violate local wireless regulatory rules.
Lastly, the wireless device is not shipped with an antenna, but includes a connector for attaching an appropriate antenna. Make sure you make a wise decision before you buy antenna. Antenna Checklist The first one is identify whether you want to install indoor or outdoor antenna. Next, don't forget the aesthetic factors for antenna. Example, make sure you dress the cable to avoid messy view. Identify the right mounting kits to support antenna. The fourth one is placement. You need to identify the suitable place to install your antenna. Example, try to avoid installing your antenna in your electromagnetic device because it can cause interference. And the last one is safety. When you try to decide what the antenna matters, put safety first. Antenna polarization is an electromagnetic wave comprises two components which are electric and magnetic component. Electric component also called the E-plane. The E-plane is parallel to the conductor or element of the antenna. The magnetic component is called the H-plane. The components are perpendicular to each other. Take note that, in a wireless communication system, the transmitting and receiving antennas should be polarized in the same direction to achieve best results. You can see the pattern for each antenna polarization here. Chapter 4 Summary Make sure you can remember all the facts. Self-activity You may compare indoor and outdoor antenna. Find out the outcomes. End of chapter. Thank you for watching and listening.